the messages please do not go and attack or go into areas where they are and we also ask the private people to leave forests to grow so that the chimpanzees can have their protected area we now have over 5,000 chimpanzees in Uganda as a population and 500 of those 10 percent live outside the natural forests so you'll find them not in a national park you could find them anywhere but they are very good uh, animals they will not attack if you don't provoke them and besides are bringing money to Uganda they are one of those that bring a lot of money for us we charge over 250 dollars per person uh, for four hours if you want to see a chimpanzee that's a lot of money so if we can all rally against uh, activities which endanger the chimpanzees but also develop businesses tourism businesses and activities that can can benefit from visitation and sighting of chimpanzees that is what we want to do 25 years ago no one knew what a chimpanzee was no one really cared much about the chimpanzee no one really understood why we needed to conserve the chimpanzee no one knew understood where we need to conserve the habitat of the chimpanzee but five years down uh, 25 years down the road there's a better appreciation we have a lot more people who understand what a chimpanzee is the better appreciation of wildlife in general and uh, habitat uh, protection and understanding of wildlife in general and I think that has come through consistency in the kind of uh, activities and programs that we do both on Ngamba Island as an opportunity for people to see uh, the wildlife that we speak about and other sites like the Uganda Wildlife Education Center like our national parks. Once people get to uh, get into close contact with the wildlife they have a better understanding and a better appreciation uh, for wildlife and they better appreciate why they need to conserve them and to conserve the habitat that this wildlife need. And that is why this year our theme is partnership for coexistence. 